So, welcome back to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your payment information in Oberlo. Because, as you've seen in the other video, we just installed the Oberlo app. Uh, if we click on apps, uh, it should show you the Oberlo thing. Oh! Page for page. Let's log in. Try that again. Because I'm also screen recording this for your video. So uh, here's the Oberlo app. You click on apps to see all the installed apps in your shop. So it's really easy. It is. So in your Oberlo settings on the left, you click on that. You can see the connected shop, the pricing rules, suppliers reporting and others. So in the connected shop you have your shop settings. Set products as taxable, measurement of weights, kilogram, shipping is the URL that will be added to the checking. Let me update this. Select auto updates when the product disappears. I want to set the quantity to zero. When a variant disappears, I want to remove it, set the quantity to zero, and I want to get notified. Cost change update automatically. Notify me. So, this is all your settings for your shop. When to get notifications, when to, yeah, so you know when to act. Okay, save settings. Go back to connected shop. You click here again. Here you can change the markup from your uh, product. Can select a profile. Go to suppliers to add your payment card. So if you want to use um, Uberload to place an order, you need a credit card. So you can place that order on AliExpress. So that's what you need to add it here. Default shipping, I want to have ePacket. This phone number will be used instead of the customer's phone number, so that would be my own phone number. Custom note to the supplier on the AliExpress checkout page, so you can do anything a request to Oberlo. You can have reporting on email, daily, weekly, monthly, total sales, you can save the settings. So now you got the settings done on how to uh, order on AliExpress. It doesn't mean that people can now check out in your web shop because they still can't. To get check out in your web shop that people are uh, prepared to pay and are able to pay, you can do that here. Your store isn't open yet. This is the dashboard. And here it says, somewhere, choose the way your store accepts payments. So I want to enable my payment provider. I can do that by using PayPal. And that's one of the easiest methods. If you don't have a PayPal account, just go to paypal.com, get an account. Set up instructions, click activate your blah blah blah, you click run access, so, oh, transaction fee, you must have a business, uh, business account.
So click activate. You select your email address. Info at you use the next one. Let's put it back to hundred percent. You log in with your password. And then it says shop for wants to use your bank account to donate some money. So that's it, that Now you can see, select credit cards, and I even have um, a Stripe gold, recommended from your store, Stripe. You can also use Amazon B, you can use different custom things, ideal for if you are in Holland. Multi safe B, it's a yeah, faithful double option. Google and I don't know what that one. Activate custom payments. You can create a custom payment method like bank deposits, cash, cash on the left B, or a money order. So, except. Credit card, so you can do that by PayPal as well. PayPal, PayPal. <coughs> Let me just see what this is right there. I wanted to have Stripe here. Amazon B could activate this. Okay, so I want to automatically capture anything. So now my store is set up in a way that I can so now I should be able to check out a product in my store and the password because my store is not public yet so we go to catalog I want to buy some watches maybe just one just check the description nice watch Don't know why that image is actually not showing now. So as you can see right now, we can select the watch. You can see the image here. I can select add to cart, view cart. Let me see if this image gets blocked by the ad blocker. Because it should show my image. Yes, it does. It does get blocked. That's not cool. Okay. So we'll see. Check out. And this is just to verify if there's a possibility to check out this item and accept payments. Because if you don't have a payment provider, people cannot give you any money. Ooh, PayPal. So I can sign up here. A test email test test. Keep it updated. Oh, this is test test. Let's just do my own address because otherwise it starts moaning about oh we can't find the address. Continue the shipping method. So 1625 we have standard shipping method which I'm gonna show you in a different video, but you already see here. Continue the payment. Bing. 
you can see here that it is possible to order complete order to redirect the PayPal to complete your purchase. Same billing address, complete order. Let's see. <coughs> So now it starts logging in PayPal and it says, yeah, I can't test it because my uh, PayPal thing would be the same, but you see the PayPal account, so people can log in or pay with a debit or credit card here. So if you install PayPal, you instantly have the credit card option as well, so you don't need to actually install that on the backend. So I want to ship this to blah, 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 blah. payment works, check. We can receive payments. Now, if I want to go to return to shipping method, just go to customer information and back to my cart. In the shop. So, it is possible to order watches. And I don't even have products, don't have an inventory. We've literally just been doing this for. I can all setting up the theme, this and this and this, and in the next videos I'm going to show you how to make it look sweet. But you can just play around with it. So, in this video we added the payment options in Obalo and in Shopify. So people can give you money and you can give, uh, you can handle all your orders with AliExpress. So, hope you liked the video. Share the video, give it a thumbs up, see you in the next one. Bye.